Hi everybody, Ref Tim here with another installment of Zebra Corner. Today we're going to be talking about tagging and tag ropes. Now as a fan, you may have watched wrestlers holding on to the white rope in tag team matches and wondered, what is that all about? Why are they holding that? Well, the rope is designed to keep the inactive participant in his or her corner of the ring. When you hold on to the end of the tag rope, that's the furthest you can go down the apron. Otherwise, in theory, you'd be able to just circle the ring anywhere you want and tag your partner in and there'd be no rule against it. So for a tag to be legal, the inactive wrestler must have both feet on the apron and be holding the tag rope uh, and then tag their partner with their hand over the top rope, not in the middle rope or underneath. And the referee needs to be able to see and or hear the contact of the tag for the tag to be legal. The referee being the ultimate authority might have to use his or her discretion when uh, the action gets really frenzied and there's multiple people all over the place uh, and you can't see everything happening. You've got to use some discretion at some times, but for the most part, it's relatively under control. Now the length of a tag rope uh, can vary from promotion to promotion, but interesting piece of trivia, in the city of Dallas, Texas, they actually have to have a city inspector come out and measure the tag team ropes at every wrestling event that they must measure exactly 18 inches long. Now why the city of Dallas, Texas has nothing better to do with their time, I don't know, but an interesting piece of trivia nevertheless. Anyway, I hope that clears up any confusion you may have had about tagging and tag ropes. And until the next show, have a good night.